All right, next map here. Um, it's Madmer Bridge. I, I don't know how you pronounce that correctly, <laughs> but yeah, most people probably know this map. Meet Perry. Gant, Paragunt, whatever you pronounce that either. Here, do a little quest. Super easy quest. You just have to kill these two loot deaths here. You can kill the whole camp of loot deaths, but... First of all, it's not even hard to do. But... It doesn't really matter whether it's hard or whether it's easy, it's totally unnecessary. So yeah, the other looters down there are not really stronger than these two. There are more of them, obviously. But if you use something like Mind Blades, it just massacres them. And yeah, as I said, it's totally unnecessary. You get some shitty armor and weapons and you get a camping supply out of it. So I always just skip it. Um, I soloed this fight before, so yeah. It is not hard, but you also this way you gain slight experience and no, not experience, reputation, slight reputation in Defiance Bay. Oh, and that hat got buffed. Makes you immune to confusion. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. So what I was gonna say, this way you gain slight reputation in Defiance Bay. Not that it matters, but. The other way you lose some, so... And Paragund, if you help her, she never gives you anything for it when you reach Defiance Bay, so... You always get this helmet, which is the main thing you want to get out of the quest. It's not a lot of XP. You're not gonna gain a rank in Deceptive, even though you use a Deceptive um dialogue here yeah you don't gain a rank it doesn't wouldn't matter for this paladin here whether he gained it or whether she gained it but you don't even do it so the better part of valor yeah yeah i'm pretty sh short of level 4 now there's some xaurops on this map but nothing major there's two skirmishers, one priest and one high priest, I think, and some small Zaurips. So I'm trying to not get spotted by him right away so I can use the ranged weapons, but I fail. I should always sh change back to ranged after every fight, but I mostly forget it. And yeah, normally this paralyzed is vicious if you solo, but obviously you don't solo doesn't really matter and I'll I'll show you paralyze my dear little Xaurip that's how this works boom and I didn't realize I have the phantom there but didn't really matter Shall. Yeah, over here is pretty much the uh, hardest fight on this map. Not that it's hard or anything. A priest combined with the skirmisher. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
because the high priest is not backed up by a skirmish and the high priest is just backed up by two normal xarabs so he's easier I think difference isn't that big anyway the main problem about any priests is if they heal and yeah I go for the charm on the on the Xermisher there to keep him out of my hair. So so much for him. He's gonna slaughter his priest now. Yeah, I don't know why I'm hesitating there, but... I guess I was checking how long the Sham lasts, but... Apparently, as soon as all his allies are dead, the Sham ends automatically anyway. camping supply over here. Oh, and a fine hatchet, that's pretty nice. Something for Kana. I think I forget to equip it right away, but I'm gonna equip it a little later. out of range there. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. And yeah, once again, it isn't really necessary to clear all these maps. The XP isn't very high. Oh, I forgot, there's also two trolls on this map. I now remember. <coughs> and there's another single skirmisher. Oh, my bad. So I'm gonna kill those two. Just forgot about them. Yeah, so this high priest would be a lot scarier if that were two skirmishers uh, <laughs> or at least one skirmisher I guess I would just charm, and aga charm him again as I did before but still should have charmed the high priest Well, I got proned anyway. Yeah, I should have sh just charmed that guy. I didn't even think about that. Oh well, doesn't matter. Oh, I didn't realize I have my summon there. I could have just sent the phantom towards... I still didn't realize it. Wow, I'm so stupid. Could have sent that phantom so much earlier. Would have prevented him from any actions because of stun. Oh well, he's gonna get ganked now anyway. I 
I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very. There's the two trolls up there, and since these are not forest trolls, they're slightly stronger. And there's a the skirmisher. So these skirmishers always see you out of stealth, or they always make your stealth go away pretty fast. So if you haven't equipped your ranged weapon before. Um, approaching them, and yeah, most likely not. Mm -hmm. Um, not gonna equip them. Okay, was a little weird there. And yeah, I'm debating whether to attack the trolls or not, but... Since it's two, and as I said, they're slightly stronger. But I end up just camping and attacking them. Oh yeah, I wasn't sure whether they are wilder, so I'm gonna look it up. But yeah, as soon as um everybody has four survival, I'm gonna use that so often that accuracy bonus from camping supplies, and it also scales with levels, so ten is not where it stops. I think it gets as high as fifteen in the end or even higher so let's go wilder you want rest you idiot <laughs> all right Following your lead. so i think i'm just gonna either charm them or uh paralyze them i think i'm gonna paralyze them but charming would have been way smarter but I didn't I'm pretty sure I didn't think of it at the time. I'm just pulling them over here in hope of maybe separating them. But I didn't pull them very far, so that didn't work out. Yeah, I don't know if I really end up not not charming them. I don't know why I didn't think of that. That's pretty stupid of me. Charming one of them, I should say. Yeah, I'm going for the paralyze. Oh well. Yes. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. But yeah, charming one of them is definitely way, 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 way better. And it costs less focus to boot. So you might still get a paralyze in after. Also not the smartest decision to paralyze the other guy there. 
Oh wow. Phantom came a little late, so yeah, all in all, not done it the best way. It's also interesting to note that these are strong against Crush, but weak to the other damage types. Oh, that was a crit. Do it again. Come on, what am I doing? He was almost dead. That was unnecessary. Spot on. The better part of Valor. And that's almost that for this map. I think I'm just gonna get a further plant on the south side of the map and that's gonna be it then. Yeah, there we go. It's another plant here. And that's it. So, see you for the next part.